Retford isn't the sort of place that you plan to visit. I've seen signs to it on my way up the A1 to Yorkshire, but the closest I've ever come is stopping at the Grantham service station for Burger King and a pee. So when it was suggested that I go to a spa weekend up there, I was skeptical. Don't get me wrong, you can put a spa anywhere but you usually associate them with exotic surroundings or secluded forests. The old bell is like an ancient pub rather than a deluxe health farm, dot and it kind of is. Only, it also has a state-of-the-art spa on site. It's about a 10-minute drive outside Redford or a 45-minute walk if you're too cheap for a cab like me, on Barnby Moor. And I'd say my weekend there was probably the best spa weekend I've been on. And that's saying something. Accommodation you can stay in the main building, which dates back to the 17th century when it was a farmhouse, but we stayed in one of the little cottages. The complex has two rows of terraced houses, behind which is the spa building. They're not all that to look at from the outside, but inside, they're luxury itself. We're talking absolutely huge four-poster beds, fruit baskets, standalone baths, and beautiful pieces of furniture. Honestly, you could fit about four people in a bed if that's your kind of deal. One of the houses is actually a gym and jolly well stocked it is. It's of new techo gym gear, including a great treadmill, cross trainer, bike, and all kinds of weights and resistance machines. Oh, and it also has great speakers which you can plug your phone into meaning that you can turn the whole thing into a proof sweat box. We turned up and headed straight there for a quick 30-minute session before heading over to the spa. Spa right so as I say, from the roadside, this complex just looks like an old pub with a few outbuildings. Walk round the corner, however, and you'll find that there's a whopping great state-of-the-art spa. Split into two floors, the bottom centers around a relaxation pool, complete with massage chairs which have jets pummeling out muscular relaxing water right where you need it. If that gets a little much for you and find yourself needing some fresh air, you simple press a button in the wall and a glass door lifts and suddenly you find ourselves swimming outside without having left the water. We're living in the future, people. Around this mad pool are situated eight experiences. Outside you've got a series of heated loungers which are hot even in the coldest weather, as well as a rattan apple like a little circular shelter and alpine chalets to snuggle in. Inside, you start with a herbal laconium, which isn't that hot or humid but is more of a meditational space, nice and bright and fresh smelling. Next up is the stone bath, a steam room which relies on a medieval-looking mechanical contraption which pours water onto coals every so often, releasing a plume of steam. Out of gentle heat and straight into the snowstorm walk which is a shower made of snow. It is bloody freezing and I did not enjoy it one bit. But health and wellness dictate that we must do these things and even if we hate it, we find ourselves doing it again. I must life be like this. Fortunately next up is the alpine sauna and it's properly hot so you go from feeling like your heart is about to stop from cold to feeling like you're in Jamaica in a matter of seconds. The second shower isn't so bad, it's sort of novel in that you press a button and a bucket pours a load of water on your head. Anyway, there are loads of similar rooms and experiences but my favorite, oddly enough, was the salt inhalation room. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's just right. It's dark and of beanbags and a massive block of salt. We went in and honest to God, woke up a hour later. Both of us fell unconscious within minutes of sitting down. And I suffer from awful sleep so that's saying something. If I could install this room into my flat, I'd be about a million times calmer and nicer. It is worth a trip to Ye Old Bell just for an hour in this room. Upstairs is where the treatments take place. We both had a Turkish ritual massage which consisted on being stroked and lifted with silk fabric to gently stretch the body as well as massage it. Saffron balm is used to work the muscles and smells heavenly. I really struggled to get up afterwards and retired to my room, such was my level of relaxation. Spa packages range from £85 to £299 per person. We traveled up on Virgin East Coast trains and prices start from about £19.50. and pence. We took a cab from Redford Station to Yield Bell which came to £9 and there are loads of cars going to and from the station so you shouldn't have much difficulty tracking one down. Dining food is the most important part of any weekend break. Fact. And most nosh you get at spas isn't delicious it may be healthy but it isn't lick the plate tasty. This spas menu, however, I could have eaten ten times over. We're talking risotto starters, stilton tarts, English champagne aperitifs. In fact, they've got a completely separate vegetarian menu, all of which looks incredible. And both menus are divided into levels of indulgence, ranging from the lighter options to the blowout treat-yourself dishes.
If only all menus had that system, one which helps you make informed options without yelling are you really going to choose the double chocolate gateau you, fatty? After lying prostate for two hours post-massage, we ventured for dinner actually in the main building of Ye Old Bell. This is a sort of fine dining gaff, with thick pile carpets and an old school bar with nibbles awaiting. So well received is restaurant bar 1650's grub that the hotels won a double A rosette for outstanding culinary creativity. And it was a lovely experience. On a quiet Saturday night, it was lovely sitting down to a light three-course meal in old school opulence. I have to say, however, that if you're a vegetarian, don't go hungry. The portions are small and rather insubstantial the starter of a boiled egg being the most hefty of my three courses, but hey, I had a double carb lunch and this is what fine dining meals. You never feel after eating a posh meal, them's the rules. I also almost cried the next day when I found out the price of the wine and water I'd ordered, which had been added to our room bill. But that is a lesson in ordering drinks in hotels. And it also explains why I decided to walk the 45-minute journey back to the station the next day. Verdict overall, a fine place for a weekend away. It's bang in the center of the country and the spa is really excellent. We left feeling exercised, relaxed, satisfied and unwilling to head home. Maybe there's a reason to pull off the A1 at Redford after all. More 10 gluten-free festive desserts, you need this Christmas more 8 ways to get out of a terrible Tinder date fast.